to what is the general to... sentiment on the campaign about the situation of the Ghanaian economy? The dollar is running now at 16, uh, much higher than uh, the, the uh, inherited at five or six, gone more than double. The last 25 years has been the steepest rise of the dollar under Mohamed Dubaumia, who exhumed such confidence and many people were confident in him. Yes, we know there was COVID. Yes, we know there's economic conditions across the world. But how does the MPP explain this? Is it just to say that it would have been worse with other people? How does, how does well, the I campaign mean, uh, explain the, the, this to people? So, the, I think the campaign has been very, very clear on that. Um, we have admitted, and that is leadership, because you see, Paul, governance it's not about doing the simple things. Mm -hmm. you know, otherwise, as individuals, we will not need government. The essence of government is to confront problems, problems that you and I, at our individual level, cannot deal with. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why we need government. And so it is not possible to run a government for eight years and not be confronted with problems. The problems would come. But it is about how you deal with the problem. But the issue That's is, how, why, why did the problem come? Is it incompetence? Is it dereliction of duty? Is it no, the whiskey? It, 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 how, we know. Why did the problems we, come? We know, we know it's all over the world, but in, in Ghana and, and, specific and I, case. And I'll answer mm -hmm. that, Paul. Mm -hmm. And we have challenged the MDC to point to one country, all right, just one, which has not suffered the devastating effect of COVID-19 and Putin's irredentist ambitions in Ukraine. Just one country. And it is not possible. You can't find one country. You can't find one But one you country. find that Cote d'Ivoire's extent no, of the depreciation impact, the and impact, all that. The impact Maybe naturally different. would differ from country to country. Why is our impact but, so severe? But, but what is fundamental? Dr. Baumia explained that in Kasua in, in, I think, some a year ago, 2022, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when he said that in the case of Ghana, we have been afflicted by a quadruple warming of events. First of all, we have had to spend 25 billion Ghana CDs to reposition Ghana's financial sector. The banking cleanup. Which government had not budgeted for. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just last week, the World Bank announced that banks under Ekufuado have become stronger. And in the process, we have had to save deposits of about 4 million Ghanaians. Oh, imagine a scenario that the women at Makola would wake up one day and they are told that their savings are gone. That the women at Tamale, a Babu market, would wake up one day and they are told that their savings are gone. That the Kufuando had to intervene to save this situation. Then COVID came. Then Russia's aggression in Ukraine came. No country, Britain has had to change three prime ministers in the last three, four years before their, their recent election. That brought Labour to power. Because they attributed and the problem to the prime them, minister. And all of them attributed the economic crisis in Britain to these twin problems. Mm -hmm. That for the first time in 40 years, inflation went up. America is at an inflation of a 40 year high. In years, in the US, it was the same. In, that, in fact, in Germany, citizens poured onto the streets. But we have said that it is not possible that between 2017 and 2020, that the Kufuado delivered an average growth rate of about 5.9%. That is according to the Institute of Progressive um, Forum of Governance, if I remember their name correctly. Mm -hmm. That he managed to keep inflation under 10%, all right? And uh, I think somewhere in 2019 or so, it was the lowest in 28 years. Mm -hmm. That he managed to keep our debts within sustainable levels. That depreciation was at its lowest. And that we were operating a deficit of not mm -hmm. more than 5%. That these team who had delivered such an impressive macroeconomic record would suddenly become incompetent. How is that possible? Mm. That every from government from, 20, <coughs> from 2021. Same people. Same people. How is it possible? And are we to say that for every country that has suffered um, economic decline, that their governments were incompetent? That suddenly, in 2020, every government in the world became incompetent. 
It is important, and I understand. I do not blame the NDC when they try to put everything for, on the NPP. You know why? No. Because they're seeking to win an election. Mm -hmm. And we do not expect them to come and say to the Ghanaian people that the challenges of 2020, 2021 and 2022 cannot be attributed to Okufuad. Then they are surrendering the election to the NPP. Mm. So we expect that the legitimate thing that the NDC would do would be to attempt to profit from the crisis to advance their political agenda. So, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But you it say that's so, not the correct position. Ghanaians should not is, listen that to is, that. That is not the correct position. It is not possible. You see, the NPP since 2021 has admitted to the crisis mm. and has announced a number of measures, including cutting down government expenditure yeah. to deal with the problem. Mm -hmm. Today, the first quarter growth is four point for twenty twenty four is four point seven percent. Clearly signaling oh, almost five. That, oh yeah, almost five. Clearly signaling that the economy is rebounding. Inflation, which was around fifty four percent as of December twenty twenty two, this this week has fallen all the way to twenty percent, and it is projected to decline further to fifteen percent by the end of December. So clearly. The government admitted the problem. In fact, President Ekufuado described it um, in a manner that, you know, was so beautiful. He said that never in our history has a malevolent of forces come together to affect our nation in this manner. I don't know whether you had the opportunity to read Joe Biden's statement when he was withdrawing from the presidential race. He made a very interesting point is that he presided over the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Mm. It tells you the magnitude of the crisis that the world would have had to grapple with. And that's why I made the point that it is okay for government to be confronted with problems. It is not possible to govern a country for eight years and not face problems. Leadership is how you deal with the problem. How have we dealt with the problem? First, we have admitted that the crisis has brought in its wake unprecedented hardships, that it has depleted incomes, that food inflation has led to people finding it difficult to meet some of their basic needs. But how has government responded? In the case of public sector workers, government has responded by increasing the cost of living allowance, by cutting down ease expenditure, by tightening the revenue shortfalls, by subscribing to IMF program, all right? All of these things put together are interventions by government to deal with the problem. And the results, as Dr. Baumia rightly enunciated in Takradi, are beginning to show. And there's no single economist who has denied that the economy is rebounding. But as for politicians, from the opposition, okay. you expect them to Let continue to Let me get you to, to answer. answer.